Welcome. Thank you for being here to take part of this online communion event. Before we do take part in the bread and wine, let's go ahead and go over what it means to be a Christian. Well, first of all, um, in the beginning, the first Adam sin, Adam and Eve, which caused a separation with God. And with that, our relationship with God was broken and it needed to take something that was perfect for sacrifice that was sinless. And this is what we know as this is what we know as atonement. It is what God did and gave as a crass sacrifice of his one and only son to be able to overcome the consequences of sin. That even though we were all sinful, Jesus erased that by coming down as a perfect human being in the form of a human from God and was able to overcome the ultimate consequence which was death now we can again have a relationship with god uh, on the passover evening is when he took partake partook in his last meal and he shared with his disciple on how the bread and wine was a symbol and representation of him and he continues to share um for example on how how we are to take the bread and eat it for it is his body which is broken um, for the remission, remission of sin. And so we break the bread as a symbol and we partake in it in remembrance of Jesus for what he did. And then we take the wine and drink it for it is his blood and it um, was shed for when he overcame sin and died on the cross, which is also a symbol that shows that his um, blood and what he did canceled out sin. So we all take the bread and the wine together as a symbol and remembrance of Jesus and what he did for us, as well as... Uh, God's plan to bring us back together with him.